Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Back here in the main utility room for the house on the 600 amp hour bank with those two chins 300s tied in uh, parallel 600 amps. Showing you how I still finishing up the month here. Zero gas and what I've had to do to keep that. So yesterday this system was getting down to about Oh, 20%, about as low as I ever like to take it. So I unplugged the refrigerator, letting this charge back up to full for a couple of days. Sitting at 44.4% now. Not the best solar conditions, but uh, this will be fully charged in a couple of days, even on these cloudier days. And all I've had to do to keep everything running, I still do uh, let this main bank run everything else in the house but all I've done is unplug the refrigerator which of course runs 24 7 and when this gets down I've had to do it a couple of times when it gets down a little low because of a you know a week of uh, darker rainier days I just switch it over I unplug the refrigerator And then I just run an extension cord out, plug it in to this other standalone system, which is running just a 200 amp hour battery, lithium iron phosphate, of course. 300 watts of panels coming into it. Refrigerator is running right now, but the 300 watts is actually, it's charging. So you can see that that battery is, is gaining 82 0.6% full. Going to get 100% full today. The refrigerator is running. Pulling 69.3 watts. Very efficient refrigerator. About to finish up yet another month. Zero gas. Staying off the gas. And that's all I have to do now with this separate standalone system when the main house bank gets down as low as I want to take it I simply just run a cord out here to the shop plug it into this system this one runs it absolutely fine I let the other system charge up completely full then I'll unplug this plug the refrigerator back into the main system and I didn't do any more supplemental power still powering everything 100% off the Sun zero gas and you know that's the way I like it. Aloha.